Hello everyone, welcome to the bottom of the barrel. My name is Nick Rigdon, and today I just wanted to discuss a little hashtag on Twitter. In my last video, I decided to go ahead and step outside of the LGBT community by saying I'm not LGBT. And that by saying that, I don't want to be a part of the community anymore because it's just gone over like terribly politically. Mm -hmm. uh, Emma, you took a year off between Hawker Day and SMU. Hmm. Can you tell us why? That was just for the election. I campaigned for Obama. Uh, what I did want to do was look at it from an outside perspective, like say nothing, do nothing on this hashtag, uh, just be silent and just observe. I saw a lot of people who were uh, just posting their pictures, looking good or looking good from good angles, and it was all like fine and dandy, it was cute, like... Uh... Just look at him. She drives men to drive off cliffs and he has terrible taste in women. Who am I to say they're not meant for each other? It all decided to take a little turn when a gay Republican decided to mess up uh, the flow of the politicized, almost propaganda-ish type of hashtag. I say that because it is a propaganda hashtag. It's to almost like, oh, take pride in who you are. Take pride again. Like, we're going to make this a pride thing again. Like, they keep bringing up the fact that you're gay. I said you lived in California. Everyone's touching themselves. Have you actually been to California? Last stop to the apocalypse? No thanks. It was hashtag the persistence on Twitter, or at Scott Pressler. He said, I feel obligated to join this hashtag because he likes controversy. Uh, he put LGBT babes, uh, hashtag gays for Trump. That literally made people so mad. I also started paying attention to a bunch of Crazy fundamentalists, and that's what I'll call them, because I've seen fundamentalism. Jesus is just right with me. Jesus is just right. but, but I see this more and more on the liberal side, and I have liberal friends, and I don't want to say that this is all liberals, because it's not. Um, but the extremist, like, feminist, uh, LGBT, transgender, non-binary, um, cultural appropriation, SJW rhetoric, uh, fundamentalism is obviously blatant. On top of that, they're using GIFs of African American women to express how they feel in GIFs, and yet this is a stereotype that African American women are asking gay men not to use, and it kind of seems contradictory that they're not attacking each other on that, they're not eating their own tails. If that makes any sense. China. Hide it under a bushel, yo! Shine, 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 shine! I think it's just hard to be a gay Republican now because people hear, oh, contradiction! Um, it's not always a contradiction. I'll explain why. No, we agreed we would not lower our standards. Maybe there just isn't anyone good enough. <coughs> I'm dying. A lot of Republicans usually see the bigger picture in situations. For example, a lot of Republicans and a lot of blue-collar Americans, uh, they're concerned about national security because they have heard about ISIS and they're like, oh, um, yeah, yeah, let's take care of that because that's, th those people are killing people, yeah. Let's take care of that first. Well, darling, we all hope you're here for good. <laughs> and not for evil. <laughs> because they want to stay safe, they want to protect their families. And all the veterans that are over there actively fighting against these forces of evil, I raise my cup of coffee to you as a veteran and I say, keep fighting the good fight, fellas, I'm right behind. I'm going to be supporting, okay? Just, if you take a picture, take it with your shirt off. Okay, you don't have to. That was that was a joke. 
Clearly, I made a big impression. Conservative people are entitled to their belief. Stop making a big deal about the bakery situation, about like some type of discrim any any type of discrimination. Stop screeching to the local news, okay? Uh, if it's just a bakery that doesn't want to bake a cake for a gay couple, move on to another bakery. And like, I guarantee you there's better. Ladies, before you throw me out, you let me say my piece. Now, I know things haven't been great between us ever since the whole Uncle Burl thing. You mean ever since you stole the land for her condos for Christian living right out from under her? Sharon, I appreciate you leaping him out of fence, but I've already forgiven Heather for her shocking lapse of judgment. It's uh, not that hard. Really, not that complicated. I don't, I don't know. It's like, uh, let's screech about how we're discriminated, uh, we're victimhood. Republicans and a lot of conservatives are not really don't really care um, about uh, these labels anymore. No one really cares anymore. As long as you're American and as long as you're a citizen, you were either born here or you achieved citizenship. Um, well, welcome. Like, okay, be our next door neighbor. Like, literally, I see people in my town who are average white Americans, and I see their neighbors who are, uh, you know, Middle Eastern who I'm friends with, who are doctors here, and who take care of people, and no one seems to have a problem with them. The amount of rudeness, the amount of um, disregard and insults, and this sassy gay attitude uh, of fun fundamentalists, liberal fundamentalists, um, is getting old. Like, this is annoying as hell. You're, you're talking to middle America, guys. Like, it's, it's... <laughs> the, um, implication, or what I see starting to happen, is this feminizing of young boys. Um, where boys are taught to be nice and be pretty and... Um, wear makeup if they want. I've seen the worst of the worst. I've seen a 10 year old twerking on Instagram and I don't ever want to see that again. I wanted to burn my eyes out. I wanted to throw up. I think I actually did. Did I throw up? Yeah, I think I threw up. Your gardener left this sharp dismembering tool out by your mailbox. I'd hate for someone to trip and die on it! I think I'm just gonna end it right there. Um, but yeah, coming from a gay Republican point of view, um, it's just, it's a crazy time. It's almost like a witch hunt for us. It really is. I mean, you got the Out magazine that says you should convert or not even try to talk to us because we are so insidious. Uh, because we like comedy. Uh, oh, we like jokes that make fun of current events. Oh, pff, mind blown. And... Keep us ever mindful of the humiliation of sin, degradation, and lack of moral decency. It's not ours to judge. Amen. It's ridiculous. They're saying that we're bigoted, racist, hateful people, and it's like, you know what? You, audience, you don't ever see me outside in your communities, probably, because, or, or maybe you do and you're friends of mine, but any friend of mine could say that no, Nick is not a racist. I don't even remember say him saying a racist comment or even if he did, it was in a joking manner. Like, and I wasn't personally offended by it. Ask any one of my friends, because guess what? They're the people who have seen me out day to day. I hang out with them. I talk to them. And, like, before you label me something, make sure that you really want to label me with that, because my actions can prove more than your words can about what I truly am and what I truly believe. Jeff and Paul like hot pectorals and good old-fashioned Christian morals. Hey, 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 hey. We're red and we're gay.